And some of you may have seen the vision which we've been propagating for quite a while. Um, so looking at the aircraft a bit like a smartphone, and you know the old phones, they could make calls. An aircraft obviously can and still will fly in the future. But we believe with a connected aircraft as a platform, um, aircraft can actually do much more than just fly. And they can unlock many use cases which help airlines to improve passenger experience, to improve passenger loyalty, to monetize among passenger experience, but also, and that's obviously where our core experience is, to help improve the operations of the aircraft. And if you look at the image here of a smartphone on wings, um, what do you need to build a good smartphone? You need a connectivity solution, so you need to have a solution for getting data on and off an aircraft. And this is what we are working on with our HPC Plus program. Um, where we have the first solutions now flying in the market and I'll give a more detailed update on that program later on. Secondly, to build a good smartphone you need a server and a network infrastructure um, with an operating system and it's also something we are working on quite intensively and we will be in the next weeks also announcing some important partnerships in doing that. Uh, and thirdly, obviously you need to enable that with the right marketplace solution. And that's also something we are working on and you will be seeing in the course of this year also some important updates on. Today in the presentation I'm going to focus more on the connectivity part because I said that's the program um, which we've been bringing out to the market already and which we are heavily working to evolve. Um, and where obviously there is a lot moving, not just on the aircraft side, but more importantly as well on what is going on out there in terms of constellations, in terms of uh, new satellite service providers entering the market. And obviously I should not forget, I mean, if you want to have a smartphone on wings, you need wings and engines and a few other mundane stuff. Um, which obviously we are still working on this others. And we are leveraging expertise which we have not just in the Airbus commercial aircraft division, but that's something we are working on quite closely um, with our colleagues in the space division, um, but also leveraging some of the competencies we have in the group in terms of cyber security and, and digital. But as mentioned as well, this is not just something for Airbus internal, um, but the important thing is to have the right lineup of partners because there are many elements and many areas in there which go far beyond what a classical aircraft OEM manufacturer can do, so it's important for us to have the right partners lined up with us. Yeah, many of you have seen that picture, I will not dwell too much in it, but um, you see the offboard connectivity part and then it's really about bringing all the elements together in the aircraft, so step by step we are doing that. Um, and again, that's about also connecting a large ecosystem of technical solutions and of partners on the aircraft, so connected devices, connected systems, connected monuments, etc. on the aircraft, um, but it's also about, um, you see on the ground, um, having the right digital players come on board of an aircraft. And now I set um, a focus a bit on connectivity, um, because you see all these nice satellites orbiting around there. Um, and we are committed, and that's part of the HPC Plus philosophy as an open, flexible solution to bring on board at all times the best available players out there today and tomorrow. And in that sense, I'm very proud and honored today to announce that we have signed up one of uh, the players whom we believe will be one of the big players in the future. And that's, uh, clicking now. And that's Amazon Kuiper. So we have entered into an MOU and we are in deep technical discussions with Amazon um, to bring them on board of our program. Um, they are part of the HPC Plus program today and as soon as their uh, service will be up and running, and they are moving forward very quickly with that, um, we will be happy to offer them um, to our customers as part of the HPC Plus program. And I feel that's a very important addition because you see um, low Earth orbit constellations um, evolving very rapidly and we believe that with a service such as the one of Amazon but also of course with a service which some of our other partners are providing, um, it really elevates the connectivity experience to the next level. So again, super proud to have Amazon uh, as one of the big future players um, on board of our HPC Plus program. And then to show the full picture of where we stand here today, um, so that's everything which is floating around the Earth at the moment. Um, in the low Earth orbit space, um, we have uh, Amazon obviously as a new addition. Um, I announced, uh, I think when I was standing here last year, um, that we were partnering up with Hughes. Um, so this is firmed up now. We have signed uh, the contract with Hughes, uh, and that is making the Hughes service available in Geo, but also in the future 
uh, on, on uh, Neo, uh, and then uh, we have some other players who are already on board of the program, so these red dots, um, they are basically the players whom we have on board on the KA band, so that's uh, SES as well, with their Neo service and their Geo service. Um, and there is one additional thing, you don't see the Amaz, uh, the Viasat uh, GX network on there. Um, so this is a decision we have taken, we will not promote that network to future customers. We still obviously continue supporting all existing customers and deliveries which we have signed up with the Viasat GX network. Um, but that's not a solution we will be actively promoting um, for new customers in the future, because we simply believe that with the lineup which we have now here, um, that's really what's going to provide a differentiating and competitive connectivity experience. Two words maybe on uh, KU, so you see these bluish dots here, and those are our partners Panasonic and Intelsat, but also acting as the resellers of the Utelsat uh, uh, OneWeb service uh, in Leo. Um, so here um, I announced, I think, last year that we are working on a KU product. I mean, we have a KA product, so it's an obvious priority for us to bring a KU product to the market. That is still part of uh, our roadmap and it's still a key priority. Um, what we've done in the last year is we've been maturing and reviewing the solution which we had in development. And given all the evolutions on the market, um, we feel that we can come up with an even more flexible, modular, but also lighter and simpler solution than the one which we showed last year. So we are reviewing a bit that product concept. Um, we still believe the technology choice we've made on an ESA solution, um, dual beam, uh, KU, multi-orbit capability, um, get that technology, and all those choices are the right one. We are refining the product concept at the moment with Panasonic and Intelsat, um, and we will bring that uh, to the market in 2027. So more details will come uh, also here on this one in the course of the next month. Um, but again, to reaffirm uh, that intention. Voilà. So that's uh, some of the, the important evolutions of what is happening on. Uh, and I'm super proud. I mean, this year is going to be the year where HPC Plus, with the current product solution, is going to fly on our A320 and A330 programs. Um, so as a cross-program solution, um, which uh, is, of course, important for us to make that available to all customers on, on our fleet. Voilà. And that's all the updates I have to share, so I'll be available for questions, I think, later on.